Hey guys, it's Darren from Supernova Comic Con and Gaming in Perth. We're with the wonderful Anson Mount. How are you going? Good, good. How are you? Great. How's your experience been in Sydney and Perth so far? Great. Now that I'm sort of getting over the jet lag a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you, and you're probably about to fly out again too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to get back home. What, one more day to go and then that's it? Yeah. Um, so obviously just jumping straight into your career, looking at some of your credits, it's, it's been pretty incredible. Like Hell, of, Hell on Wheels was a, was, a, was a great show and it was five seasons. It's six. Six? There we go, corrected. That's all right. Um, was was a Western, well, sort of West, Western, something that you wanted to jump into set after the Confederate? Yeah, I'd actually been asking the universe for a Western for about two or three years yeah. when I got it. Because I think everyone loves that sort of film or television series. Yeah. Um, and obviously that was a, an incredible show and I've had friends who... I said that you're coming and they're like asking their hands on Hell on, Hell on Wheels. So what was the experience like for you working on that show? On Hell on Wheels? It was, it, I have a very special place in my heart for both the show and the production. Uh, it was uh, not the easiest of shoots. Yeah. You know, it's all day's exterior. It's a hard thing to do, especially a mile high and uh, close to the Rockies. Yeah. Because uh, the weather will change on a dime and you got to learn to dance with it. But um, I want to do another western. Yeah. You know? Well, I think uh, I think when you're in the, when you're from America and you've got Monument Valley and everything there, perfect backdrop to a western. Um, maybe it's something that you need to look at producing, maybe or doing your own. A couple of ideas I'm knocking around. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously, like, well, since Hell, Hell on Wheels was super popular, and then obviously Deadwood got itself a revival. Yeah. Do you think Hell on Wheels, that there could be anything possibly? You know, when, 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 when you release people from contract, you know, they tend to scatter to yeah. the four winds, so it's very hard to get that yeah. back together. Um, it, it, would it be something I mean, you would I, do? I, the, well, the question is, do I, do I, you know, do I want to dig up a, the grave of a character that I put to bed? Yeah. And it would have to be... It would have to be for a very good reason, okay. um, but uh, you know, never say never. I'm kind of, never say never, but I'm, yeah. I'm kind of happy with where we left him. I think we left yeah. him in a good spot. I think it was a complete arc. Yeah. I think that um, you know, the exterior structure of the the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad, yeah. combined with the internal arc of him getting through PSD to the point where he can trust another human being, I felt like we got a beginning, a middle, and an end. For sure, and then obviously you moved on, you recently were in season two on Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. Incredible show. As a, I, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I do like some Trek. And um, seeing you step into the role of Christopher Pike when it's been played by someone before, I try not to compare, but you were fantastic. Thank you. Um, did you maybe look at other Christopher Pikes? And of course. But it doesn't. That kind of thing doesn't really help you that much. Yeah. You know, um, I do. I do. I tend to do a lot of research as an actor. Um, very rarely have I ever, ever found anything that I thought was a key yeah. to a character. Um, it's kind of like I said in an interview recently. It's like if if I was going to play Hamlet, of course I'd, I'd go. I'd watch Kenneth yeah. Branagh's Hamlet trying to steal anything I could, <laughs> or, in, or, or yeah. the Zeffirelli, Mel Gibson, Hamlet. Yeah. But I'm not going to do Mel Gibson's Hamlet. I don't want to do Mel Gibson's no. Hamlet. You I want to do Anson my Hamlet. Hamlet. Yeah, Hamlet. exactly. Yeah. Um, well, well, obviously, you've gone from Hell on Wheels, and then down the track, you're, you've gone from space, space, you've gone to space, basically. Yeah. How's that different production-wise? How is that feeling walking onto, like, a spaceship set and going to these planets what was it like the first week on set for you surreal yeah <laughs> when you got the suit Completely on and the, surreal did you keep anything um i like i i had props made up a little little desk plaque for me with a badge oh, nice. you know yeah. um it's you know i grew up a fan i grew up yeah. like star i'm sorry excuse me star trek was my was my make-believe game yeah. as a kid uh, and so to walk onto the bridge and take the captain's chair was bizarre. Oh, I bet. It, yeah. was, it was the strangest, most wonderful thing. 
and uh, it was it was surreal every single day. Now I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen the last two episodes, so I apologise. Okay. But I'm working on it. Do you, so I don't know what happened. But would you think will you ever, would you reprise Christopher Pike at all? Uh, not in Discovery. Not in Discovery. No, and you'll see why. Okay. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spoilers for anyone that hasn't seen it. Um, but I will be watching the end anyway. Um, well, I'm going to let you go because you're obviously really busy, but I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your busy schedule to talk to us. The convention's still going. I'm sure yeah. people can hear behind us of what's going on. But yeah, thanks for coming to Perth. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. I hope to come back. Thanks very much. All right.